Why play Karma mid? Well, she's very strong early game, she can snowball incredibly hard, she brings a ton of utility, and her synergy with Malignance is great. However, her damage does fall off later into the game, and her level 6 power spike is much worse than most other champions. Karma's passive is she starts with one point in her ultimate, and for each enemy champion hit by one of her damaging abilities, the cooldown of her ultimate is reduced, and her ultimate can be used before casting any of her other three abilities to empower the ability. Karma's Q is a straight line skill shot which explodes on the first enemy hit. Upon exploding, it deals magic damage and slows nearby enemies. Karma's empowered Q has increased damage and will always explode even if it doesn't hit a target when it hits maximum range. Upon exploding, it then leaves a circle on the floor which will slow enemies. And then after one and a half seconds, the circle will explode again to deal damage. Karma's W is a point and click ability which deals damage to an enemy champion or monster and tethers themselves to her. If this tether is not broken by the end of the duration, they're dealt damage again and rooted. While empowered, Karma will constantly heal herself a large amount while the tether exists. And and the duration of the root is also increased. Karma's E applies a shield to herself or an allied champion and grants them a large burst of movement speed. When empowered, the shield given to the target is increased, and all nearby enemies also gain a smaller shield and a smaller speed up. For combos, start E on yourself and then run into range and use W. From here, attack into an empowered Q into more attacks. For matchups, Karma does very well into high burst damage champions being able to heal and shield through their burst, and she can struggle against hard scaling mid laners who will outscale her as the game goes on. For runes, take this. Comet gives you even more early game pressure. For build orders, start Ring and Pot into a Malignant and Tier 2 Boots. After this, you just want to stack cooldown reduction as much as possible, so a Cosmic Drive into a Horizon Focus are great pickups, before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill orders, start Q then E then W, before maxing Q then E then W, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Teleport. From the very start of the game, Karma wants to exert a massive amount of pressure and start building an advantage. With having your ultimate straight away, your level 1 is simply better than most most other champions at this point in the game. And this only gets better when you hit level 3 and have access to all of your abilities. Firstly, your Q is great poke. If your opponent is ever not behind minions, or even if they're standing on top of their minions, the AoE splash will still give them damage if you hit them with Q. In addition, your trades are also incredible. Being able to shield yourself into a W to lock them down into your empowered Q is a ton of damage, with the shield mitigating a lot of the return damage. Otherwise, you can even empower your W to heal a massive, massive amount and then hit them with a the basic Q afterwards. However, if your opponent is playing incredibly safe, you can also just push out the wave as fast as possible with your Q, and look to roam early for fights and objectives. Entering the mid game, your bot lane will usually come mid which puts you into a side lane. From here, you want to push it as far as you can safely before grouping back with your team for fights and objectives. Entering late game team fights, your damage will have fallen off a little bit, so it's often better to play as the more supportive mid laner. Keep spamming out as much damage as you can because this will reduce the cooldown of your ultimate. And of course, if you can blow up a backline, throw an empowered Q at them. Otherwise, empower your E for massive AoE shields and speedups, or your W for long longer routes. 